Hello everyone. Uh, what I am showing here is the uh, Open Sprinkler 1.1 1 .1, uh, update. In case you were curious, the Open Sprinkler is an open source web-based uh, sprinkler timer, which I have developed uh, in collaboration with Chris Anderson. Its design is based on the Arduino and the Atmega 328 microcontroller, which is located here, um, and it has an Ethernet controller, which is this chip here. Uh, to provide web-based scheduling interface. Now the demo for the previous version uh, of uh, uh, Open Sprinkler can be found in the previous video. And here I would like to quickly go through the uh, updates in this new version. The main change is added uh, PCB pinouts for the shift register, which allows you to easily expand the number of stations or zones by uh, linking a master controller to uh, extension boards like this one. The way this works is that the uh, microcontroller typically uses uh, three digital pins to send a serial byte to the shift register. Um, and the serial byte contains the control data for eight individual stations. Now, um, by simply cascading uh, additional shift registers, you can use exactly the same three digital pins, uh, but uh, send more serial uh, bytes to, uh, you know, control uh, more stations. So this way you can, you know, uh, enable 16, you know, 24, or pretty much any number of stations you want. Uh, and it really provides a very economic way to uh, expand uh, to many stations or zones. In fact, uh, each extension board uh, uses the same uh, PCB with the uh, as uh, the main controller, but only requires a subset of uh, the components. There are also a few other changes. Uh, for example, the valve terminals have been changed to a common wire plus uh, individual station design, so that for each valve you connect one wire to the uh, common wire terminal, and the other wire to one of these uh, individual station terminals. And also there is a, um, a PTC fuse for current protection. And finally, I've added an RTC breakout uh, pinouts uh, so that you can easily add a real-time uh, clock uh, external RTC uh, breakout board. And there are lots of uh, you know, RTC Arduino libraries you can find online. Now, as a quick demonstration, I have set up one extension board. Uh, which I am linking to the master controller through this extension cable. And I am going to use uh, this testing rig here uh, to help me uh, check the cir uh, control circuitry. So the main controller uh, has a number of options that you can set when you press and hold uh, this button B3 uh, when powering up the controller. So now we are in uh, option setup mode. Um, and you can uh, keep clicking uh, B3 to browse through all the options, including the time zone, uh, network-related uh, you know, uh, options, um, the um, starting and the, the ending time of a day, and here the number of extension boards, which I will now set to 1. Um, and there's also... Uh, the option for uh, a master station, which refers to a station that will turn on automatically when any other station is on. The latest software update uh, contains a self-test mode, which can be activated by uh, pressing and holding the first push button uh, during startup. So basically, the self-test mode uh, is uh, uh, you know going to turn on each station for five seconds, one after another, including the extended stations. And this is a quick way to check if all stations are working. Now with the uh, testing mode uh, activated, I'm going to stack the testing rig onto uh, the, uh, the controller. And so then you can see that the, uh, the station valves are now activated one after another, uh, each for about uh, five seconds. Now I can also test the extension board by stacking it onto the extension board uh, terminal blocks.
The latest software update also generically supports uh, any number of stations. The software, um, which is written in Arduino, uh, is free for download uh, from my um, GitHub repository at Race Hobby. Um, there's now um, an open sprinkler Arduino library here, uh, which provides a convenient way for you to create your own applications. So here is the default program uh, running on the microcontroller. I've set the number of extension board to uh, 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 to three, um, uh, so which corresponds to a total of uh, 32 stations, including the master controller. So you can st set schedules for each group of uh, eight stations, and the interface is pretty much similar to uh, before. Uh, the previous version, so you can look at the previous video for details. The main difference here is that uh, you know um, you you can set the schedule for um, for any uh, extension board that you have enabled uh, in the setup options. In my GitHub repository, you will find another program which I call the button-based control interface. Um, so here you can manually open uh, or close each station, and uh, when you open it, you can set a timer for it. Uh, once you click on the button, the controller will turn on that station and will count down the time. And all these are based on HTTP uh, GET request, so you can also use a script uh, to send a command uh, to the controller through the Ethernet. There's actually a third program which I'm currently working on and should be released soon. That is an interval-based uh, scheduling algorithm. Uh, so here you can set uh, for each station an interval between every two uh, waterings and a duration time. And the controller will automatically execute the schedule for each station and can also serialize the concurrent stations, which means if multiple stations are scheduled to turn on at the same time, they will open in sequence instead of simultaneously. Some people asked about how exactly uh, do you reprogram or reflash the open sprinkler? Well, since the controller is based on Arduino, the procedure is pretty much similar to um, you know uploading a program to a standard uh, Arduino, uh, particularly the uh, LilyPad Arduino or the SparkFun's uh, uh, Pro, uh, Arduino Pro or Pro Mini. Uh, specifically, you need uh, a um, FTDI cable or FTDI breakout board and then you plug one end uh, to the uh, uh, FTDI pinouts here and the other end to uh, your uh, USB port on your computer. Then you should follow the instructions on my webpage uh, to download the uh, Arduino software and uh, the necessary tools and finally, you uh, just run the Arduino software, and then you can open a uh, you know existing program, um, and you should uh, select a serial port, and uh, the corresponding uh, board. Which in this case, since I'm using uh, OptiBoot, uh, so you should select the OptiBoot 3.3 volt, 8 uh, megahertz option, um, and then just simply click on the upload button. Then, uh, once the, uh, the upload is finished, then it will say down uploading, and then uh, um, your uh, OpenSprinkler is now uh, you know, reprogrammed with a uh, new software.